Hello viewers, my name is Faiz Masrukar and in this video today, I will be discussing how to design a non-rotating shaft which is subjected to bending stresses. In this problem, we have been given that a non-rotating shaft is supporting a load of 2.5 kN and it is shown in figure 5.14. The shaft is made of brittle material and it has an ultimate tensile strength of 300 Nm per mm square. The factor of safety is also given which is 3 and we have to determine the dimensions of the shaft. So if we closely look at figure 5.14, the only unknown dimension is the diameter D of the shaft. So if we can estimate the diameter D, we can estimate the minor diameter, the major diameter and also the fillet radius. All the dimensions can be known if we can estimate the diameter D. First of all, we have to understand uh, what is the failure criterion for this shaft. Then we can write the failure equation and accordingly we can get the diameter d so for that purpose let me give you an example over here assume that we have a simply supported beam so this is the beam which is fixed at both of its ends and we have a vertical load acting so what will happen is this beam may experience some sort of bending which means that bending stresses will be developed in the beam similarly for this shaft system shown in figure 5.14 we will be uh, i mean we can expect the bending stresses to be developed in this shaft next is to identify which are those critical locations so in this figure i will just highlight these two critical locations and name them as 1 1 and 2 2 so 1 1 is the location where there is an abrupt change in cross section so the diameter is changing from 1.1 d to d right so there is a change from 1.1 into d to the diameter d and at section 2 2 we have the load that is acting 2.5 kilo newton exactly at the center and we can expect maximum bending moment in the center and that's why that is also a critical location to investigate and write the equation for getting the diameter d now what we will do is we will write the given things and then we will see how to proceed to get the solution so first of all i will write the given things what are given to us so we have been given that the load is 2.5 kilo newtons so i will just write here as 2500 newtons and also the ultimate strength is given to us which is 300 newtons per mm square and the factor of safety is 3 so i can write the equation for the permissible stress so let me denote that by sigma p and that will be scut upon fos and that will give me 300 upon 3 that will be 100 newtons per mm square now I have to write the equation for bending stresses at those two critical locations but first of all let me write the bending equation so the bending equation says m bending moment upon the moment of inertia will be equal to the bending stress upon the distance y so that will give me sigma b is equal to m into y upon i that will further give me m into y now what is this distance y this distance y is always the distance from the center line to the outermost fiber. So this will be for this particular case y will be d over 2. And let us write the moment equation simultaneously. So 1 1. So for section 1 1 the moment will be 1 2 5 0 into 350. Now how this 1 to 5 0 comes? So we know that there is a load that is acting is 2 5 0 0 Newton. So that will be equal and opposite reactions that will be developed at the supporting ends. So that will be 1 2 5 0 over here and 1 2 5 0 over here. And as we are designing for section 1 1, so that will be 1 2 5 0 into the distance from the supporting point to the fillet location. So that distance is given to us as 350. So that is the moment for section 1 1 and also we will write here the sec the moment for section 2 2. So that will be the load 1 2 5 0 into the distance 
from the supporting end unto the uh, to the uh, center point so that will be 1250 into 350 plus 150 so that will be 500 so these are the moments and also y is d by 2 so i will just use this in the equation over here so first of all let me complete the equation for sigma b so this will be d by 2 upon so the moment of inertia for a shaft is pi by 64 into d raised to 4 so this will further simplify to sigma b is equal to m into so this 2 will get cancelled with 64 so that will be 32 so 32 will go on the top so this will be m into 32 upon pi into d cube so that's how the equation for sigma b will be now let me write down the equation separately for section 11 and section 22 so sigma b for section 11 will be equal to the moment is 1250 and for section 11 as we have written here it is 1250 into 350 so i will just write it over here into 32 divided by pi into d cube now this is the nominal stress but as we know for section 1 1 there is an abrupt change in cross section and we have to also account for the stress concentration factor so what will be kt in this case so for this purpose we will use the charts so what i will do is i will show you the charts over here so in figure 5.4 we have the chart for a shaft when it is under a axial load p in figure 5.5 we have a chart for the shaft when it is under bending moment so our case is this one okay so in this chart we have to estimate the fillet radius upon the diameter d and the maximum diameter upon the minimum diameter so let us see what these values are so r over d in this case will be r over d will be 0.1 and capital D upon small d in this case will be 1.1. So we have to locate the curve of 1.1 and r by d as 0.1. So that will be r by d is 0.1. So it is this location and d by d which is the below curve. So that will give me this value as we can see which is 1.6. So the value of kt is 1.6 which we will use in our solution. So that will give me sigma b11. So if I want sigma max, so that will be sigma b11 into kt. So that will be 1250 into 350 into 32 divided by pi d cube into 1.6. So 1.6 is the stress concentration factor. And we have to account this because there is a fillet. So because of the fillet, there will be stress concentration. So that's why the maximum stress will be 1.6 times the nominal stress. Now this is for section 11. Now we have to write for section 22. So that will be sigma b 22 into kt. So kt for this case is just 1 because there is no change in the cross section so i will just write that as one so that will be one two five zero into now the distance will be 500 in this case because now i am writing for section two two so as you can see for section two two it is one two five zero into 500 so that will give me one two five zero into 500 into 32 upon pi d now the diameter d for this case is 1.1 d and not d so as you can see for section 2 2 the diameter is 1.1 into d so i will substitute that over here so that will give me 1.1 d the whole cube okay so this is for section 2 2 now we have to equate both of these stresses to 100 which is the permissible stresses so what I will do is I will just erase this portion. So I have more space to write down.
all right so that will give me 1250 into 350 into 1.6 divided by pi d cube so this is into 32 will be equal to 100 so that will give me the diameter d for section 11 and i can also write another equation 1250 into 500 into 32 upon pi into 1.1 d cube that will be 100 so let us see what these values are so this will give me d s 1250 into 350 into 1.6 into 32 upon pi into 100 and raised to 1 by 3 so this gives me the value of d s 41.46 mm and let us check what is the value of d over here so this will be 1250 into 500 into 32 divided by pi into 100 into 1.1 cube and this to 1 by 3 so this gives me the value of d as d is equal to 36.3 mm now you have to make a choice which d you should take for your shaft so always we have to take the maximum one and the reason is that if i take 36.3 mm then what will happen is as i have obtained this for section 22 so this will fail at section 11 so if i select the value of diameter d as 36.3 mm it will fail at section 11 which is the fillet location however if i select this value then this will neither fail at section 11 nor at section 22 so both the locations fillet as well as the center of the shaft this diameter will not fail so i hope you were able to follow the uh, steps and uh, thank you for watching if you have any comments or like any doubts if you have regarding any step you can ask me in the comment section uh, thank you again for watching and stay blessed